Hey, hey, welcome back to your favorite podcast. Hi, Vibe in It. This is your co host, Kelsey Aida. It's just me today. As Lindsay said last week, we are currently taking kind of a little break. I'm not really taking a break, but we're not recording um, episodes with guests for the last couple of weeks so that we can, you know, live our lives on Mondays and have other things to attend to. But of course, while we are taking somewhat of a break, we don't want to leave you guys without content. So we have little mini episodes for you. And if you listened to last week's episode with Lindsay, she guided you guys through a hypnosis journey to help you manifest more money and get in touch with your abundant side. And today we're going to do something similar, but for the purpose of self-love, connecting to your inner child and doing some healing work in that way. So welcome to this episode. Really excited to have you. I'm actually recording this on Memorial Day. So happy Memorial Day to all the Americans out there. May we have a little moment of appreciation for everyone who has sacrificed their life, their time, their energy to keep us safe in this beautiful country. So I just wanted to say that. Maybe it is not happy for people out there and that's okay too. Um, I feel deeply for everyone and I really appreciate all the brave men and women who have served this country. So maybe we can take a little moment of silence for them. Beautiful. And now for today's episode. Today, I'm going to guide you through an inner child experience for the purpose of allowing more love to flow to yourself. So, of course, inner child is a word that is getting thrown around a lot these days, and the concept of the inner child is becoming more popular, which I believe is a really good thing, because when we're in touch with our inner child, we start to take better care of ourselves, think of ourselves in a more innocent light. We remember that we haven't really grown up as much as we think we have, that we're still sensitive and vulnerable on the inside because this child lives in us forever. Some important things to know and understand about your inner child especially for the purpose of self-love, it's good to keep in mind that everything you do say or think to yourself, you are doing to a small child within you. When you have this image in your mind, you're not so adept to be mean to yourself, to withhold things from yourself, to physically harm yourself. Because if you can see the image of that innocent, cute, pure little you that is still inside of you, You would never want to do the horrible things that you do to yourself, to a child, right? So when you can tie this image together in your mind and place this child in your heart and take responsibility for them, it is much, much, much easier to love yourself because you're loving that child that is you. And the fact of the matter is your innocence of that child, it didn't go anywhere. Your vulnerability that didn't go anywhere either. And your purity also has not escaped you. Like you are this child. So when you can grasp that, experience that, really touch it, feel it, understand it, self-love becomes more second nature. And I think you have a better motivation for doing it more because it's one thing to be like, oh, I want to practice myself love to manifest a soulmate, or I want to practice self-love to feel better. But like, What about this little baby that's inside of you? She or he needs caretaking too. And just because you look grown don't mean you are grown. (laughs) Every single one of us still has many children, honestly, inside of us. So it's good to get to know them and make peace with them, take care of them, and just establish that bond so you can feel even more intimacy with all these parts of yourself. So I wanted to do this meditation today because it's something that's really been calling to me. It's something that I address in my radical self-love online course and also at my retreats because I feel that it's really important. And at first, before I recorded this episode, I was thinking like, oh, I'll just use one of the meditations from my shop. So it's ready. It'll be easy. I'll just record a little intro, plop in the meditation for free so everyone can listen on the podcast. But I just wasn't feeling that as much as I was feeling this 
inner child experience needing to come through. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm really excited. Without further ado, that is what we're going to go in today. So before we dive into this, I want you to just find a safe space. It's better if you can close your eyes. So if you're in the car, maybe pause, come back and listen later. And just go into a nice safe space where you're not going to be disturbed or, you know, bothered in any way while we go through this experience. It'll probably be about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see. All righty. So I'll let you just get comfortable, settle into your body, start to relax your mind, setting the intention to know your inner child, to connect with them today, starting to breathe more slowly and more deeply, just flowing with the breath for a couple of rounds as you unwind. Relax, let go. Just letting go of all the tension in your body, all the thoughts in your mind, any hesitations, stresses, or fears. Connecting to your breath. Just listening to my voice and following along easily. I want you to imagine a gorgeous and safe place. This can be a home, fictional or non-fictional. This can be a garden, this can be a playground, this can be whatever it is in your imagination that is a really fun gorgeous safe space nothing bad happens here this is only a place of play of healing of beauty it's like a sanctuary create a sanctuary in your mind i want you to notice how it looks take in any smells How does it feel? Just walk around this space and enjoy it for a few moments. And now somewhere else in this space, I want you to see yourself as a child. So there's you in your adult perspective and then over there is your inner child. Maybe you notice how old they are. Notice what they are doing. Are they playing? Are they laughing? Are they running? Are they crying? Are they watching a movie? Notice how they're feeling. And most importantly, notice how they are. I want you to see her or his innocence. See their purity, their light, their joy. Study, study this little child for a few moments as they do their thing. Just having a moment of appreciation for this little you, so cute, so vulnerable. And now I want you to ask yourself the question, does this child deserve to be happy? Do they deserve to be loved, to be kept safe? Obviously, I think you've come to the conclusion that the answer is yes, of course they deserve to be happy. They're a child, of course they deserve to be loved. Of course they deserve to be kept safe, to feel good to live a great life. No innocent child deserves less than that. So I want you to just really take that in. When you were a kid, 
You deserved it all. You deserved it all. I want you to notice this feeling of wanting to give them the world, wanting to give your inner child the world. This is good, this is healthy. This is what they deserve. Just taking in this feeling for a few more moments, noticing their perfection and remembering that they deserve it all. Now, as you watch this child, I want you to speed up time and see them getting older watching them progress in age, at what exact moment do they suddenly become undeserving of this happiness and love? Is there a point in time that you can pinpoint where all of a sudden you didn't deserve everything that you inherently deserve? No, of course not. <laughs> Nothing changed except your body looked different. You got some more bruises and scars. The world put you down, but you never became less deserving. There was no shift in your worthiness. Okay, I really need you to let this land. That little kid is you and you've always deserved love. You've always deserved happiness. And that didn't just go away because you got older. It never does. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, I made mistakes when I got older, so that's what changed, or I did bad things and now I don't deserve that, that has nothing to do with your deservingness. That's just you judging yourself, placing judgment. We're not here to judge right now. We're just here to appreciate this inner child, watch them grow and notice that the worthiness didn't go anywhere. Your innocence didn't go anywhere. Your purity didn't go anywhere. Your vulnerability didn't go anywhere. Just take that in for a couple of deep breaths. You've always been worthy. You were always be worthy. And I want you to bring your focus and attention back to this inner child. Whatever age you can connect with them the most at or admire them the most at. And I want you to go over to that child and let them know that you're there for them. That you're an adult now and you're able to take care of them that they deserve it all, that you love them. Just go over to them and let this conversation unfold. You can say whatever you'd like to say. Maybe you wanna say sorry. Maybe you wanna make some promises. Maybe you wanna tell them how lovely they are. Whatever it is, just having a moment with them to love them, make them feel safe and seen and protected. Let them know that you've got this. They don't have to be the warrior. They don't have to be the warrior. They don't have to fight for things. They're just an innocent little kid and you're here to help protect and serve them. And if it feels good, you can hold them, have them sitting in your lap, hug them as you tell them all of this. Maybe you stroke her hair. Maybe you help him color. Just hang out with them for a few moments, doing whatever they wanna do, whether it's a craft or a game. 
just spending some quality time for a few moments. Admiring their livelihood, their innocence, their purity. You can hang out with them for as long as you want, hug them for as long as you want, speak loving and kind words to them for as long as you want. And whenever you feel like they're ready for you to leave, you can let them know that you'll be back and that they are safe in this space to hang out here, to play and relax. Maybe if it feels better for them, you can leave them with a friend, with a caretaker, someone else besides your adult self. And just give them one last hug and let them know how much you love them and how they deserve the world and you're going to do your best to give it to them. Really just take in their energy and give them yours in this loving exchange. And whenever they feel confident and ready, you can let them run off to play or tuck them into bed or put their favorite movie on for them. Sit them at the kitchen table with their favorite food. Just leave them doing something fun and light that makes them feel good. Know that they're gonna be safe in this safe space. They're gonna be taken care of and now they know how loved and adored they are. They know that you're in charge, that you've got this, that you can take care of them. And moving forward, just know that you can come back to this space and hang out with them, speak to them, love on them, whenever you want, whenever you need. They'll be here playing, waiting for you, doing their thing. So as you leave them now and confident, you can start slowly to come back into your body, integrating this experience, bringing the image of your inner child into your heart, and just letting it live there. Let this child live in your heart, be at the forefront of your mind for every decision that you make, every thought that you think, every word that you speak. Keep this child with you deep in your heart. As you live out every day and all days on the journey to more self-love, knowing that anything you do to yourself, you do to this child. Anything you do for yourself, you do for this child. And with that, Take a couple nice deep breaths as you come back into the body. A couple more, just like that, in through the nose, out through the mouth. was an emotional experience for you that's totally normal totally okay just breathe through it and whenever you're ready you can slowly start to wiggle your fingers toes maybe stretch out your neck and your body coming back into the space Gently opening your eyes. And hopefully you're feeling a little more connected to the little you and you can keep him or her in your mind and in your heart as you move forward in your life, just knowing that they didn't go anywhere. And now that you're an adult and you're grown and you have wisdom and you have the willingness to love yourself, you can reparent them in a way and maybe give them what they always needed or always wanted but could never have. 
and you can be the ultimate parent to yourself moving forward. And I challenge you or I invite you to find a picture of your littlest, cutest self. Find a picture of yourself that you like when you were a kid and keep it somewhere close, maybe on the fridge, maybe in your car, maybe in your wallet. And I want you to keep this picture around so you can see it every day and just be reminded like who you're doing this for, who you're pursuing your dreams for, who you're pursuing happiness for, who you're healing from the past for, who you're getting rid of toxic people for. This inner child lives in you. Okay, so keep them near and dear and just know that anything you do to them, or I should say anything you do to yourself, you're doing to them. And anything you're doing for yourself, you're doing to them. So every time you nourish yourself, it's also for them. Anytime you say something mean to yourself, it's also to them. So this goes both ways. Just keep that picture around. It'll be really, really helpful the next time you want to do something harmful or helpful. Just to have that motivation of, you know, this little me, she never deserved anything less. There was at no point in time where there was randomly a switch and all of a sudden I didn't deserve love. There was never a point in time where all of a sudden I didn't deserve happiness. And with that, I will leave you. Feel free to, to share this meditation experience, this journey with anyone you feel who will benefit from it. And feel free to revisit it as many times as you want. You can listen to it on repeat. You can do it every day for the next week to get really solid in the practice. However you feel called to work with it, it is here for you. And if you resonate with this type of work, I would definitely like to invite you to my radical self-love retreat happening in October, which I just realized on my website that the application is broken. So thank you, Mercury Retrograde, <laughs> for fucking up my website. I don't know exactly what happened, but the application hasn't been working and I don't know for how long. So if you're like, yeah, I've been trying to apply to your retreat, Kelsey, but it's been broken, just know that I literally just found this out. So when you go to the page, instead of filling out the application, just go straight to the step where you book a call with me. So if you go to kelseyaida.com slash retreat, you'll see all the retreat info, scroll all the way down. And then it says step one, do the application. Step two, book a call with me. Just skip the application, book a call with me. I'll give you all the info. I'll see if it feels like a good fit. And then if you still want in, I will get you in after that call. So skip the application for now. I'm still troubleshooting it. I don't know what went wrong. I'm not a website designer by trade. <laughs> so sorry for anyone who's been trying to apply and it didn't work, but just skip that part. Book a call with me if you want in to the retreat. And yeah, with that, I will leave you to have a great day. I love you all. And I hope this journey really helped you.